It is my pleasure to introduce a representative from the Pulse 9388 who is going to also honor the two Marines. Cleo, would you come forward? <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I'm only smiling because I'm really nervous. <laughs> uh, and after I let Orville talk me into this, I kept wondering, what has he got against me? And then I thought about we participate in a golf league. And he keeps thinking I beat him, but I haven't, so he's trying to get even with me, all right? But uh, on behalf of VFW Post 9388 in Muskegon Heights, uh, we're here to honor two very special people. Uh, both of them, uh, one I've had the privilege of working with the past several years, and the other young man, I only me recently met him. And I, the more I learn about them, the more impressed with them that I am. I just want to give you a brief history of what they went through. Uh, the history, they had to train at a place called Montfort Point. And they're referred to as the Montfort Point Marines. Okay. It says the Montford Point Marines were the first African American to serve in the United States Marine Corps. And I didn't until recently know that the Marine Corps was the last one to accept African Americans into the service. Okay. It says the black Marines were segregated at Montford Point Camp to train between 1942 in 1949, the men served in all black units, mostly in the Pacific Theater, and distinguished themselves while battling racism from within and enemies from without. In other words, they were fighting two wars. Okay. It says the black Marines received their basic training adjacent to Camp Lejeune in North Carolina, where conditions were harsh and the treatment from fellow Marines would be even harsher. The black Marines were not allowed to enter Camp Lejeune unless accompanied by a white officer. In the few times they participated in training exercises, they could not eat until the white Marines had finished. They were routinely passed over for promotions. The Montford Point Marines are often hailed as important figures in American history because they willingly fought to protect a nation that still did not give them basic civil rights. Today, African Americans make up approximately 20% of the United States Armed Forces, 20%. And we're, what, usually about 13% of the population. But usually the military was the only place that we could get employment. The nation's first black Marines received a rare national tribute on Tuesday, October 25th, in 2011, as the House voted to award the Montford Point Marines with the Congressional Medal, the highest civilian honor given by Congress. And I think it was very appropriate that it was the first African-American president that signed that legislation. Okay. So tonight, we have a couple of plaques, or a plaque for each one of those, and it's just honoring their service. And it's to Comrade Robert 
Spencer. recipient of the Dr. Garrison Award in recognition of faithful and diligent service to the uh, county and community, country and community, is Robert T. Spencer, United States Marine Corps Staff Sergeant, South Pacific World War II. Uh, you said there, Bob, I'm bringing over to you, buddy. Thank you. 
I tried for Tuskegee. I made a nice uh, 87, my fashion grade, to become one of the five from Tuskegee. That only lasts three hours. <laughs> Captain walked up to me and said, Spencer, have you received the flying ladies yet? I said, no, I'm on my way. He said, yeah, that's what I want to tell you. We can't use you. You were trained by someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Donovan was a physician for the Savoy ACA and, and Civil Old Man Civil Road to Spencer. They just accepted the name of the Marine Corps. That's a rough outfit. Give you another one. So thank you, Doctor. I took the exam and passed. I was the happy guy in the world until I went to the sun and said, son, then when you get ready for me, get to that ball. He said, we don't have to call you. You guys have been on this 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my beginning in the Marine Corps. When I arrived at Camp Lee Jones, they didn't even have a place for me to sleep. Mm -hmm. So they pitched tents, two tents, plus and some kids out of New York, Wisconsin, and this that was fine. From then on, I was Marine. 